as the tarantula is in the club. Finally, a tarantula feeding video. And I wanted to have like a theme, so we are only going to feed tarantulas that we rehoused in past few months. So in the same time, this video will be like an update on their enclosures, so you can see how their enclosures developed, how plants developed, and also how they, they changed their landscape, you know? And the first one that we will check out is this Nando tree puppy. And right off the bat, check this out. For some reason, she webbed this particular corner of the enclosure, the door section, you see? I have no idea, the other side is not covered, and if you look at the corners, there is not any particular web over there, but this corner, for some reason she decided to go all out on this corner and webbed so much. I don't see the point, but anyhow, there is she. She's actually curious why I open her enclosure now, or maybe she's looking why am I destroying her web. Sorry girl, sorry, 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 I won't be touching her web anymore and I'm going to give you a, a roach, a juicy, juicy, tasty roach. So you will be able to forgive me for partially destroying your your precious work. <laughs> okay, I have roaches right here in the box. You see these roaches, these nymphs that are quite large to be honest. So one simple drop. Oh, no, 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 no. I dropped it too far. So let's go once again. Oh, come on. Ooh. For a second there I thought that she's not interested, but yeah, she was just a bit cautious, I think. Yeah, you are going in the right direction. The roach is right. <laughs> Sorry, kind of blew this attempt, but yeah, she grabbed it for sure. And there is a bit of struggle going on. While at the same time, these frogs, come on, why do we need to have two frogs calling at the same time? No, it's not that one, it's this one. See this one? And the second one is, yeah, that one. You see? Yeah, she's shaking. <laughs> All right. It was the same thing in last video. And basically every time we're recording a video, there, need, there needs to be at least one frog calling. And because of that, we are missing some action here. Okay. Do you got it under control? Yeah, she put her leg like, I need to support myself over there. <laughs> so as this is going on, we can kind of check out her enclosure. Look at this. Even though she kind of destroyed this plant at start, the plant actually recovered without any problem, but the leaves are, you see, small and it is kind of growing tall and that is because the light is not super bright in this enclosure. And by the looks of it, this plant loves bright light. Regardless, it is bright enough for these plants to develop and grow. And she's going inside, inside of her hide. By the way, she's basically never inside of the hide and always outside, which is a great thing. I love her because of that. Usually when people come in the dark den and I want to show them some big tarantula, I will often first check her out because she will be outside most of the time. And this third plant is also right. I mean, I, by the looks of it, it didn't grow that much, but it surely like stood up more. And I love the fact that this moss is still over there that I accidentally took with this plant. Actually, the plant was growing out of that moss, so I was forced to take a piece of moss together with this plant. So it was like a happy accident. Oh, and we get like some sort of happy dance with the sound of singing frogs. And from what I can see, Roach grabbed the plant and kind of destroyed it. You see, there is a hole where the plant was. Well, that was a bit unfortunate, right? It is what it is. Let me get another enclosure. First I need to take this back, but it is heavy, so it takes some effort. <laughs> Let me show you this one from the last video, because there has been some interesting development. I set this up like three days ago, although for you it is seven days, but I had to record this video in advance because of the expo. I had to go to expo, so I had to prepare the video in advance. Anyhow, in that video, I set up this core back with the tension that Tarantula will actually make like a web tunnel inside of it. But what did she do? She already built a web tunnel behind the cork bark as she decided to troll me, you see? <laughs> this is a Caribena versicolor and she is gorgeous, you see? And I'm not 100% certain if she will want to eat because she kind of haven't molted in a while and I think think that she's potential in a pre-molt. So even though she got herself comfortable inside of this enclosure for sure, I'm not sure if this will go down. Ok, 
actually there was some movement. But yeah, she's like backing off, you see. So no feeding for this one. Maybe the next one. So let's check the plants. And in three days nothing happened. I mean, they didn't dry, which is a good thing. But so far I remember to take a picture every day. So in like two months we will have a nice time lapse, yeah. Now I'll get one from that shelf. This one or this one or this one. Because she webbed more. She was freaking out as I was moving her enclosure, but it seems like she calmed down. This is a Gramostola Acteon. You see she's still not using the hide. Instead she webbed around and she made like a like a road going like this and that's it basically. I just love when they don't use hide because yeah, they are visible then. Nice drop going three, two, one. Oh, no, 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 no. This was a fail. Oh, look how she spread those fangs to grab the roach. And she bit it right where the head is. Also, oh, more bites. You see? More bites. Because the roach is struggling. So, yeah. It apparently needs more holes. <laughs> it seems like these roaches are struggling a lot. Unlike Dubias. You see, even though it was bit multiple times, it is still struggling and trying to move out of the tarantula's grasp. But there is just no way Jose... <laughs> this is funny. As the tarantula is in the club. It is almost at the beat. And you see how tarantula is in a... If I can get closer so you can see. I mean lower, yeah, you see? The tarantula is in a 4x4 mode. <laughs> also, in case you don't remember, check how good looking the background is. Yeah, the cork bark in the background. Really, really sweet looking. And where you're going now, still shaking as moving. <laughs> this is so hilarious to see. Oh, we have a dead battery. And you can still see it here on the on this camera. Okay, girl, we are going to leave it dancing and check out your sibling. I mean, not sibling, the, the neighbor, the other Gramostola. Uh, arguably prettier Gramostola. The one and only Gramostola Puhra. And even though they are from the same genus, you can see a stark contrast in how they arrange their enclosures. You see, there is not a single trace of web on the substrate. There is probably a thin layer everywhere, but it is not visible, but nowhere near as Gramostola Iheringi webbed. And looking at this enclosure, I I realized one thing. I should have added more substrate to this enclosure so it is like up to this. Or I should have made this side like this tall so I can actually record the range better. She's always here on front just like the other one, the Gramostoli Hiringi. She was also like in the same position. And when you want to record it, you see you get this plastic part in the way because the tarantula decided to spend her time right there. Not over here where we could see her perfectly. No, no, no. She needs to be here. So in order to record her, I need to go like this. Yeah, nine years of tarantula keeping and enclosure setting up and I still make enclosures. I mean mistakes like this. And if you remember the video, you probably remember why I added so little substrate. Because just like in other background, I also incorporated the cork bark in the back. So the background is super nice looking. But if I added this amount of substrate, I would need to slope it up and the line of substrate would be like here, covering almost the entire background. And I didn't want that to happen, so now this is the consequence. Another tarantula that decides to troll me. <laughs> but less talking, more actioning. Actioning. <laughs> Maybe we can bait her to come to the middle. Oh yes, yes, we... Girl, seriously. And check out how quick this roach is to bury. Oh, so now you don't move, huh? Ah, 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 ah there we go. <laughs> Again, I kind of messed it up, but we got the takedown regardless. And still for the head. I'm wondering if that is the chance or they really flip them so they grab their head. If they can feel where their head is. We need to see how next tarantula will grab the roach. And it is like in between the fangs, huh? Ooh. I think that fang penetrated the head. <laughs> you see, right under the, the armor of the roach. Nature is nasty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me show you what I mean by armor. You see how these roaches have this harder part on top, even though it is not super hard, but underneath, here are the legs and head and the squishy part of the roach. And that is exactly where this one is biting. <laughs> Biting at the soft part. 
Mm, let me take the next tarantula. Or actually, before we check these two, we are going to check something else. I forgot that we actually rehoused some true spiders not a while ago. This heteropoda David boy for start. You see, it is right here on top. You can see its fangs, the entire underside. So this, in theory, should be ideal spot for the takedown. If it doesn't move. So I'm gonna try to gently open the enclosure. Get some small roach. This one should be ideal and let's see if this can happen. Oh yes, it can happen for sure. And I think this is the first takedown clip with this one. If I'm not mistaken, great! Heteropoda David Bowie feeding. Can I get a different angle? Yep, there it is, you see? <laughs> the spider is really, really bright, but as it grows, it should become more and more orange. I'm really looking forward to that. Now the other true spider fella is this one. It is a Viridacea species. A flat one as you can see, so I'm not really sure if it will be down to get some roach, but I'm surely going to try. Let's check it out. I'll just place the roach. Oh, it teleported right at the roach. This was awesome, it surprised me for sure. And check how cool the pattern on the legs is. Really, really cool. Nice, a little bit of true spider feeding and can I use this opportunity to promote my stackable acrylic enclosures available on the web shop in arboreal version, terrestrial version and fossorial version and also microterrestrial and front opening arboreal. The link is in the description, only available for European orders and for U US and Canada market. I had a collaboration with Tarantula Cribs to bring you these premium acrylic enclosures also in arboreal size, fossorial and terrestrial not size, setup. Yeah, set up. The dimensions are approximately the same, but ideal for slings. So get yours today if you need them, of course. We also recently set up these tarantula cribs, dark den enclosures. So let's check it out. First, the terrestrial enclosure with this Boomba uh, Horida or Boomba something, I don't remember. The one that is always fed. So we are only going to drop one tiny, tiny roach. Although maybe this is a sign of pre -malt. Or just dirt. It is hard to tell, but you see, she's not using the hide. What a shame. Tiny roach drop in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> it seems like she's not in a pre -malt. Nope, but in a hungry mood, for sure. Can we get some movement? Some fang action or just pedipalp slowly moving upward? Oh, yeah. There we go, a little bit of movement. Great, great, great. Now, next tarantula in fossorial setup will potentially be kind of impossible to show, to feed. Inside I have Sahidro Araneus Raya and you see she closed off her burrow so maybe she is actually in the pre or maybe she's just acclimating to her new enclosure. I cannot even see her inside. Hmm, nope, I cannot even see her with my eyes so I cannot definitely show you on the camera but a clip from her rehouse inside of this enclosure. It is a really pretty, pretty species. And last but definitely not least inside of this uh, arboreal dark den enclosure, actually on the other side, a whip scorpion, you see. We tried to feed it in the rehouse video but failed, so hopefully today it will be the day or I don't know. But for that I want to grab a lateralis roach. They are best for feeding in this sort of situation, but I just realized that I don't have small ones, not small enough ones, so I need to resort to a uh, next best thing. Which are flightless fruit flies, but I need to hope that one will wander in the right direction, because they tend to climb a lot. Oh yeah, right at the spot. And the whip scorpion is reacting, but not in a way we prefer. Unfortunately, it looks like it is not hungry or in a pre -malt. So maybe next time, sorry. But we still got one, two, three enclosures. Or maybe four. Four enclosures to check out. You are about to see some naughty tarantulas. And then we will end up with two scorpion species. First one is Formictopus species Dominican purple. Again, you see low substrate and the ventilation is blocking the clear view. So definitely more substrate. I should know that, right? Okay, never mind. You know, a beautiful tarantula. I said it many, many times. One of my favorites, but why did I say a naughty tarantula? Look at the background. I made like a notch over there in the background where I placed the substrate and I also planted this plant. And for some reason she decided that 
hide is not that interesting while squeezing over there on top is like the best spot so she's constantly being over there knocking the plants down even though i tried pulling them up a couple of times nothing helped because she just kept knocking them down which is annoying but eventually hopefully the plants will climb more and more up and cover the spot regardless at least i'm hoping that will happen you see they are growing really really nice except this area where she destroyed everything really annoying but let's give her a roach i feed my tarantulas even when i'm mad at them <laughs> yeah that was a good one huh and I can hear the cracks, although I don't think that you will be able to hear them. Happy dance, or maybe it will continue. You see webbing and shaking are awesome. Finally a proper happy dance in this video. <laughs> Boing. Yeah, add more layers of silk to that enclosure, to that substrate. I cannot really see any except this small patch. She's still going, you see? Dancing like crazy so cool now let's get the other one which is even naughtier which is pamphobetia species mascara and plants are also the reason why she's naughty you see over there we had a plant i mean i planted the plant that she destroyed literally the very next day yeah she just completely destroyed it and pulled it out of the ground out of the substrate but thankfully this other plant is more hardier even though you see she destroyed the leaf over there but didn't manage to fully pull it out so the plant is growing and sprouting new leaves thank god otherwise this would be simply turned into a enclosure without plants so let's try to lure the tarantula like somewhere here Ooh. <sighs> yes please and can you get the hell out of that plant i don't want that this roach also grabs this plant and pulls it out or something like that happens so please move away that won't happen right unless she starts to happy dance which also won't happen huh you'll just be stationary over there well whatever i'm going to check out scorpions instead a lot of scorpions in a single enclosure these if you're not familiar the titius stigmurus you see one scorpion right there another one over there over there another one one baby over there and that's not all if we remove one cork bark like this one for example you can see more babies another one over there you see yeah and i assume majority are behind this cork bark which is now beautifully covered with this plant you see this is the main reason why i wanted to show you this enclosure it is not that recent which is apparent by how much this plant spread you see simply beautiful here is one roach for you she accepted the offering yeah these are all females and they are parthenogenic which means that they don't need males to reproduce one for the baby mm, i don't see where it fell but it doesn't matter eventually someone will grab it and i have one for you so yeah enjoy yeah stinging action really cool sight right gorgeous this is what you get when you don't have an animal that destroys plants and plenty of humidity and light this last enclosure that i will show you i won't be able to show you the inhabitant the scorpion because i would need to dig it out but i just want to show you how the enclosure develop uh, here is how the enclosure looked when i set it up and here is how it looks now i will probably leave this plant inside and i'll probably dig this plant out because it is just squeezed over there not looking good so i'll probably dig it out and put it in some other enclosure and you see these clovers or whatever they are are still growing really good and just like in junglearium again this plant sprouting on its own such a crazy plant by the way you see this white stuff this is apparently the styrofoam because the scorpion dug inside and managed to make the hole in the back it didn't went all the way through but it chewed on it and this is before i started making the harder backgrounds where i combined glue for tiles together with silicone and dirt so far none of those backgrounds got destroyed as you could see from all the enclosures that i showed you all of those at least majority got those type of backgrounds anyhow this concludes this video i hope that you enjoyed this rare feeding video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to wait 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 which day is today okay not this sunday but next sunday live stream so on 19th mark it on your calendar i want to rehouse all of these tarantulas into these type enclosures so we are going to have one super chill live stream looking forward to that 
Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page and merch page and enclosures and everything. Link in the description. See you again really soon. Bye.